kick back, unwind, and check out a rare find. Today, we've got 13 rare finds. The first rare find is a Nintendo NES action set. But it's it's just the box. It's the box and the star frame and there's a couple other things in there. And I don't have this version of the NES box. I have some other ones over there on my shelf that I really love. And these are in a lot more nicer condition than this. And I mean this was three dollars for the empty box, really couldn't pass it up. It's got some really old duct tape on here. I peeled this one off. And it's so old that it's not of course sticky. It's just got a it's got like that old weird crusty residue type of stuff. If anyone out there is watching and knows how to get rid of this old crusty duct tape stuff on a box without messing it up, let me know. Because I'd like to take off of this and this one at least so you can see the end. I would kind of like to put it over there with my other boxes. Oh, let me show you what's inside. So, styrofoam is kind of beat up and it's only the first and the bottom half. But then we have it's a red and yellow AV cable that's sealed. I don't think that this came with it. Well, I mean, it takes this, but I don't think this is the one that came with this. But then we've got... It's a Konami booklet with all the, at the time, the Konami games that were out. We've got Contra. Well, we've got Jackal on the side. We've got Contra over here. Life Force, Simon Twist. Really good games on here. Okay. Next rare find. I have a brand new in the box or on the card Sony Sports headset, like Walkman headset. This is actually for the same exact the same exact sports Sony Walkman that I had back in the day. So this is really cool, it's a really cool find. It's got a bubble ding on here. Like you see in some action figures from back in the day. But this is a really rare find and a little pricey on eBay. Next rare find. Oh yeah. The next rare find is over in my garage currently. It's an old TV stand. Or not TV stand, it's like a TV cart. And it's got some cool cutout sides and everything. And I've been pondering the question as to whether to paint it green or not. The same green that is on the toad table painted on there. So should I paint the TV cart green or just leave it like it is for old school sake? Let me know what you think down in the comments. Okay. Next rare find. Next rare find is a Blockbuster DVD rental to add to my Blockbuster rental collection and for identity special edition. Never seen this movie before and it's got the Blockbuster logo on the inside there. Okay, the next rare finds. As usual are VHS tapes and got a really cool there's actually really really several cool ones in here so let's go this thing is beautiful I'm a big fan of the rental VHS's. This is a Bill and Ted from All Star, yeah, All Star Video, which from the uh, address about 45 minutes from my house back in the day, and it's all cracked up and yellow. But man, this is awesome. I'm gonna display it on my shelf, like showing the All Star Video piece now to me over here with my other ones that are going on over here, and it's in there. Yeah. All right. Next VHS. I have a Forrest Gump that's sealed. I'm going to add it to my sealed VHS collection. And at another 
place. I found a Texas Chainsaw Massacre, the media version. See down there. I, I have another one of these, but it's the Good Times? Or what is it? Hold on a second. Oh, it is up here. Hang on. So the one on the left is the one I just got, the media one. And this one over here is Video Treasures. And the box art is a little different. This one I just found is more... I guess rare and expensive than this one, but they're still pretty cool. Okay, the next ones, there's six of them. I found them in the same Salvation Army. for some good stuff. Here we go. The first one is Cyborg with my man Van Damme. Me and my friends used to be really into Van Damme when we were in the um, 11, 12 years old, something like that, in the early 90s. And we loved, we watched Bloodsport a lot. He was really into karate. And this, this movie, when we watched it, was actually like way more extreme than those other movies of Van Damme. So we were like, whoa, we could tell that the dystopian type of universe was really cool. But it was before I saw a lot of clips of those movies. So watching this uh, cyborg back then was like a big impression on me. And this uh, this version in the box is awesome. We have Woman at Large Breakout. There is probably the most amazing 80s music on this workout tape. It's from 1987. Definitely gonna check that one out. Got a movie called China O'Brien with Cynthia Rothrock. And it, I didn't know who this was. I had to ask my friend, but it, it all started coming back to me. And the problem though is that I took this tape out. This isn't the tape for this. So I wasn't able to watch this movie. I think there's some other movie on here. I can't think of what it is. But we're in luck because... I got another Cynthia Rothrock movie. And it's called Martial Law 2 Undercover. And this is a crazy B-movie and all kinds of action. I honestly, I honestly really enjoyed watching this movie. If you uh, have not seen it, I think you should check it out. We got a Ninja Turtles cartoon one from 1990, Invasion of the Turtle Snatchers. Yeah, I've seen, I have a couple other of these. I have one up on my thing up here, but I've not seen this one yet. Here's the other one I have up here. It's the Great Boldini. This one's pretty cool. Okay, and the very last rare find VHS tape is... It's blank. It's called 9-289. Well, that's it. And remember, like Indiana Holmes always says, keep up the ground, and you'll get a rare find. And remember, like any image. What's what am I? What is my name? Hmm. <laughs>